So today we have a technology teaser of the things we can do with Pantalizer and Pantahub. In this case, we have a Raspberry Pi over here, which is running a Debian image. You can see it here on the screen. Um, what we're going to do, this device is connected to Pantahub, and through our tooling, we're going to send a full Android system to that device, completely remotely, with no user interaction. You don't have to take your SD card out or anything like that. So for that, you can come with me to the screen. Over here, we can see the representation of our device. Basically shows us the revision it's on, that there was a previous update which finished, and this is the name of our device. What we're gonna do is that over here, we have something that we call in a checkout of the device. We have one that has an Android image as well as a Raspberry Pi BSP. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send this to that device right there. For that, we basically have a syntax such as this one. The device name is ELC D2A, that's Debian to Android. All the objects are posted and their new firmware revision is posted to the device. We can continue seeing here on the screen that the device now has a new revision available. Now it's in progress, the objects have been downloaded and it's now rebooting. So if we take a look at the screen, we can see that that is the case. It's no longer on Debian. It's begun its reboot process after processing the update. So now it will try to bring up Android. Now, the important part about this is that we're just sending literally a complete new system firmware with a new kernel, with a, an Android vendor partition, all the things that make up an Android system, all completely remotely and over the air. I didn't take the SD card out. I didn't flash anything new. I didn't do anything, you know, anything weird. It's just all magically going over the cloud. <laughs> For that, you can go to pantahub.com and try to follow our, uh, some of our documentation. There are demos up there. We're gonna have a guide about this specific demo up soon in our blog. And that's pretty much it. You can take a look at the screen now and we can see that at least the Android boot animation is coming up. It takes a little bit for Android to load the first time, of course, because it has to install all of the system APKs. It works just like a phone, perfectly fine. There's nothing random happening. This is all thanks to the containerization that Pantalizer allows you to do. Through our near bare metal containerization, you can go from a completely different system to another. Going from a Debian to an Android system is a complete you know, lane change that before would have required a lot of user intervention. And right now, you can just do it with a normal remote OTA. So if we go back to the screen, we will eventually see our little Android logo come up. There we go, perfect. And the launcher should slide in. And that's it, Android deployed on a Debian Raspberry Pi as an OTA. Thank you.